George Lucas's ambition was his greatest strength. His ambition in the industry changed the way we look at movies and arguably redefined the genre. In his early life, his dream was to become a race car driver. However, George lost his obsession for racing after a life-threatening car accident in 1962. It wasn't until George attended Modesto Junior College in California when he discovered his true calling, filmmaking. This led him to transfer to the University of Southern California of Cinematic Arts, the place where you would meet many other young filmmakers including Steven Spielberg. Lucas's time at film school would eventually launch his career into motion after being awarded a scholarship by Warner Brothers in 1967 for the work on his short student film, Electronic Labyrinth, THX 1138 4EB. After contributing at Warner Brothers and a few other venues, Lucas co-founded American Zotrope in hopes of creating an environment for filmmakers that was non-oppressive by the system of Hollywood. To his surprise, the studio wasn't successful. Even after it produced a feature-length version of THX 1138, despite this result, George continued his film career with the founding of his own production company, Lucasfilm, in 1971. It was when his career started to make millions after directing American Graffiti. With the amount of money that was generated by the film's success, Lucas founded his own special effects company, Industrial Light and Magic, to create an ambitious movie set in space. This movie was, of course, 1977's Star Wars. To nearly everyone's surprise at Lucasfilm's Star Wars was a huge financial success making billions not just for the company, but for the industry as a whole. The film's distributor, 20th Century Fox, was literally put back on the map because of Star Wars, since most of their films at the time were considered flops. After the release of Star Wars, George took a break from directing, giving Irving Kirshner and Richard Marquand the job of directing the Star Wars sequels. While taking a break from directing in the late 1980s, Lucas became an executive producer for a number of films that were produced by his company. It was around this time in 1986 that the computer division of Lucasfilm Graphics Group was purchased by Apple CEO Steve Jobs for $5 million. Graphics Group would eventually evolve into the animation studio we know it as today, Pixar. Still an executive producer at Lucasfilm, George collaborated with his friend-slash-rival Steven Spielberg to create Raiders of the Lost Ark with Spielberg as director. This film would be the most successful film George executively produced. Raiders of the Lost Ark would become the first installment of a series of films following the adventures of Indiana Jones. Lucas would not return to directing for nearly 20 years. In 1994, Lucas began directing a revision of the three Star Wars movies to re-release into theaters in 1997 for the film's 20th anniversary. There were various things, especially in the original film, that I wasn't satisfied with. Special effects shots that never really were finished. Um, scenes that hadn't, you know, that I wanted to include that couldn't have been included for some reason, mostly money and time. And um, I really wanted to, to fix the film and have it be completed. He also wanted to generate anticipation for the next film in the series, Star Wars Episode I, The Phantom Menace, which would serve as the beginning of a prequel trilogy. Lucas would go on to direct all three Star Wars prequels within the span of six years. After the completion of the Star Wars saga, production at Lucasfilm began to slow down. Lucas would only executively produce a few more films following the year 2005, including the fourth installment of the Indiana Jones franchise, with Spielberg returning as director. Lucas eventually came to the conclusion that he could no longer lead his company. After much thought, George sold the rights of Lucasfilm to the Walt Disney Company in 2012 trusting that they will present his beloved stories to a new generation of watchers. 
Finishing with his last feature-length film under Lucasfilm, Strange Magic, Lucas currently works on independent projects. Though his career isn't as big as it was over a decade ago, George Lucas will always be known for his ambition in storytelling, which have ultimately led to innovation in the movie industry.